hello friends here I have an app which contains these menu items at bottom and here in this video I will show you how to add ripple effects to these menu items so here I will add red color ripple effect to these items so let's start here I will show you the app now it contains these three menu items these are in linear 6 7 and 8 and these three are in a linear horizontal and weight of each of these is one I've set weight of all these six seven and eight to one so that they occupy equal distance in this linear horizontal now in order to set it as or display it in the bottom I have a linear 10 above this linear horizontal and this linear 10 is a linear vertical for which I have set height to wrap content and I have set weight to 1 whereas weight of the linear horizontal below this is 0 okay so suppose if I set the weight to 0 you can see that this is linear vertical and below this is a linear horizontal in which I have these three linears so when I set weight to 0 it brings this to bottom now I have to set ripple effects for linear 6 linear 7 and linear 8 so for setting ripple effects I will be using this code and I, I will say this will probably work only for those users who have paid membership of sketchware or who are using paid X sketchware version so it is a ripple tag which contains xmlns android is equal to http colon double slash schemas dot android dot com slash apk slash resource android so this is used for most of the xml codes in the beginning then after that there is the color android color is equal to hash double slash double f for for opaque then double f for red then double zero and double zero so this will be red color so i'll just copy this then i will navigate to this folder dot sketchware inside this my sc and inside this the project number which is 684 now here I will go to app source main resource and drawable inside the drawable folder I will create a new file let's name it as my underscore ripple dot xml this will be a new xml file inside this xml file I will paste the code and I will save this so now I have a my underscore ripple dot xml file and here in sketchware for this linear 6 I will use this code linear 6 dot set background resource r dot drawable dot my underscore ripple so that will set ripple drawable for linear 6 or ripple effect for linear 6 now I have to do the same thing for linear 7 and linear 8 linear 7 and linear 8 and that's all now let's check this okay the app compiled but the ripple effects are not working because I have not set any on click listener for these so I will go back and here I will set 
on click listener for linear 6 7 and 8 so now i have linear 6 on click linear 7 on click and linear 8 on click now let's check this okay now when i click on these linears you can see the red color ripple effect okay and it is unbound So that's all in this video. Thank you very much for watching this.